in the last three videos, I've, I've explored with you three uh, deep convictions that I have. Uh, we began by exploring the extravagant, graceful, mind-blowing offer that lies at the heart of the Christian faith. God wants to be friends with each one of us. Each one of us is called into a divine friendship. Then we looked at prayer and I made the suggestion that whatever makes for good friendship makes also for good prayer. And then last time I suggested that at the heart of our relationship with our divine friend there lies the activity of listening. Now what I want to do uh, in this last video is I want to uh, unpack with you a way in which you and I can go about listening to our divine friend in Scripture. God speaks in many different ways, but the most important meeting place between God and us is Scripture. Now the way of listening to God in Scripture that I want to explore with you has gone by different names over the centuries in different groups. Some people call it Lectio Divina, which is a phrase meaning sacred reading. Other people speak about meditating on the Scriptures. The phrase that I like to use is praying with the Scriptures. And I like that phrase because it brings together two activities which we often keep apart. On the one hand, Bible reading, and on the other hand, praying. If we want to listen to God in Scripture, I want to suggest to you that we bring our Bible reading and our praying together in a very simple way. I want to outline this way to you now, and I'm going to do that by, by structuring it around the letter P. I want to offer to you five P's for learning to pray with the Scripture. And if you put these five P's into practice, you are going to begin to hear God speak to you through Scripture. The first P stands for place. If we're going to pray with the Scriptures, if we're going to listen to God through the Scriptures, we need a place to which we can go. A place where we won't be interrupted, a place where we can relax, a place where we can become quiet and still. You may remember that in one of the earlier videos I suggested the importance of intentionality. If you're going to develop a friendship, you need to be intentional. And part of that intentionality is to think of a place that we can go to on a regular basis where we can meet God and listen to God. The second P stands for prepare. When I go to my special place to meet with God, I need to take some time to prepare for that encounter. And we can prepare in a, in a whole lot of different ways. Uh, some of us like to prepare by perhaps listening to some quiet music. Uh, others of us simply like just to relax a bit and take a few deep breaths. What I enjoy doing is to take maybe just one verse of scripture like be still and know that I'm God or a sentence like in God we live and move and have our being and I take a, a sentence like that and I just repeat it very quietly to myself until I feel ready to move on to the next step. The third P stands for, for passage. Uh, when I feel prepared to, to, to listen to God, when I feel that there's a quietness within my, my heart and my mind, I go to that passage which I've selected to read. Uh, usually it's a passage that's not very long, between 10 to 15 verses. It could be one of the stories of the Gospel, or it could be a psalm or a, a passage from one of Paul's letters. And when I go to that passage, I I, I read it. I read it slowly. Now I know that we often get taught these days to speed read, but we, we need now to slow read. It's, a, it's a, a way of just reading scripture slowly, leisurely, reflectively. 
I find it quite helpful, in fact, to, to read the passage aloud. And I read until I'm struck by a word or a, or a phrase or a sentence. And once I'm struck by something in the passage, I stop and I'm ready to move on to the next step. The fourth P stands for ponder. This is the stage in the process when I take that, that word or that phrase or that sentence that has really touched me and I, I reflect on it. You know, it's almost like sucking a sweet. I, I, I turn it over and over in my mind, in my thinking, and I just begin to wonder what God may be saying to me through it. This is the, the stage in the process when I begin now to listen. What is God saying to me? Is God inviting me into anything? Is God encouraging me to do something? Is God directing me in a particular direction? The stage of pondering is the stage in which we seek to listen to God. It's most probably the most important stage in this whole process. The last P stands for pray. Now, in one respect, we've been praying all the time. We were praying as we prepared. We were praying as we read the scriptures. We were praying as we, as we pondered that word or that phrase or that sentence. But now we have a time where we actually respond to the Lord and speak with the Lord as a friend does with a friend. Usually when we've listened to God in Scripture, there are things that are going on inside of us that we want to share with the Lord, and now is the time to do it. So there's the process. It's, as you can see, very simple. We go to a place, we prepare ourselves, we turn to a passage of Scripture, we ponder what we've read, and then we pray. Over the centuries, followers of Jesus Christ have been doing this and they have discovered that it is one of the most important ways in which our friendship with Jesus is nourished and deepened and nurtured. I hope that you will find it to be helpful in your own experience as well. Let us end this video series with a time of prayer. Could I invite you to join with me as I pray? Dear God, thank you so much for the offer of your friendship with each one of us. We thank you that you invite us to be your, to be your friend. And we ask you, Lord, as we close this series, that you will Show us how we can begin to listen to you. Thank you that you are the God who always speaks to us. And thank you most especially for the way that you speak to us in Scripture. Will you teach us, Lord, please, how we can pray with the Scriptures in such a way that we hear you speaking personally in our lives. And when we hear you speaking to us, Will you give us the grace to obey you? Amen.